Hey Patriots, Mega Mike here with a with a quick clip here in between Christmas and New Year's. Slow news uh, week, I guess, and uh, what comes up on my feed that I had to share with you guys today. The absolute most inauthentic fraud that we've ever seen in American politics. Kamala Harris, our esteemed vice president, and her cuck, um, testosterone-deprived, quote-unquote, husband, wishing everybody a happy Kwanzaa, okay, a Kwanzaa. So let's see what Kamala and Doug have to say about Kwanzaa. Hello, everyone, and happy Kwanzaa. Doug and I sent our warmest wishes to all of you this holiday season. During Kwanzaa, we celebrate the history and heritage of the African-American community and the African diaspora. Growing up, Kwanzaa was always a special time. We came together with generations of friends and family and neighbors. There were never enough chairs, so my sister and I and the other children would often sit on the floor, and together we lit the candles of the Kanara, and then the elders would talk about how Kwanzaa is a time to celebrate culture, community, and family. And they, of course... Okay, Re really fast. She goes into such detail about getting together with generations of, of family members. Okay, Kwanzaa was created in Africa in 1966, okay? Kamala was born in 1964. So you're telling me her Indian father, her Jamaican mother, just decided out of the blue, let's get together with generations of our family and celebrate this African holiday, which we never knew of until now. It wasn't even a thing in this country until the 80s. So you're telling me these frauds are telling detailed stories about her lighting the Kanara, whatever that is. Okay, I, I shouldn't know. I, it's not my holiday and it's not theirs. But the frauds, they, they actually believe people out there are like, oh my God, she celebrates Kwanzaa. So let's listen a little more. Uh, it just gets, it gets worse from here. First taught us about the seven principles. My favorite principle was always the second, Kujichagalia, self-determination. The power to design your own life. I mean, Kichamanga, the, the second principle, like, like, if she knew any of these principles with a gun to her head, it would shock me. There's not an authentic bone in that woman's body. There's not a, an authentic saying that, that isn't contrived, staged, planned out for her. The fact that these people get away with this garbage just is so amazing to me. And there are the dope dopes out there that be like, oh, she celebrates Kwanzaa. Give me a break. The lying is just so beyond. Does anybody else see it for what it is? It's just she is the ultimate fraud, in my opinion.